for every beginning and end of each season, a champion has a story to tell. This is David Thomas from Miles College, and you're watching my Superior Sport Network. Hey, I'm David Thomas, quarterback of Miles College. I'm seeing Mr. Thomas, congratulations on being the SIAC football champions of last year. How did you guys pull it off? Well, starting from the spring, it took a whole lot of hard work, determination, a whole lot of hours in the weight room, film study, and just being able to prepare for every game. Okay. Well, how do you feel about Coach Ruffy? Uh, Coach Ruffy, what a great guy. Great guy. Shows a whole lot of tough love, but it's needed. Without that tough love, I don't think we would have made it as far as we did. Okay. A young man is watching this interview right now, and they're contemplating on coming to Miles College and playing on the football team. How can you convince that young man to come to Miles College and be another champion? I say come to Miles College if you want to be a hard worker, a great man of faith, a great worker, and someone that is determined and will make it far in life. Wonderful. How do you stay motivated as being a quarterback, going to class, keeping your grades up? How do you stay motivated and actually, who actually motivates you to be who you need to be? Well, who motivates me is my family. They're a big support group of mine. I, I love them for that. But what keeps me motivated in the, in the classroom and on the field is that I don't want to be out on my own and not have a job and not have a way to support myself or my future family. So you have to have to be stable in the classroom, stable on the field, because without the classroom, you can't have the athletics. Okay. So I hop on the classroom a whole lot and try to keep my grades up. Okay. What is your passion in life, Mr. T? My passion in life is my faith in God. And I have a strong belief in God because he's brought me through a lot, through my life. Because as a child uh, in my mother's womb, I was determined as a tumor. So she was going to have an operation. And I wouldn't be here to, to have this interview, the experience what I had on the field for miles. So it's just a blessing to be here and a blessing to be doing this right now. Okay. All right. What are your keys to success? Keys to success. A lot of film study, extra hours on the field with my receivers and running backs, making sure going over plays, making sure we have everything down to a T. And just asking questions. That's a big part of it. Ask questions. If you don't know something, ask questions, get more knowledge. Get more knowledge on everything in life. What would you say, in your own words, what is leadership or what does leadership mean to you? Leadership is doing everything right, going by the book, not, not trying to make your own rules or your own path, but keeping on the straight and narrow and being able, being able to lead other people, being an individual. We're actually doing a documentary about you. What would be the document title of the movie or the book about you? I'd say the title would be The Underdog because my whole life has been an underdog situation. Starting from birth, being born, 16 months they told me I wouldn't be able to talk. Got to school, said I was going to be in special ed, but now went through school, was in honors classes, graduated high school, now I'm in college getting ready to graduate. So it's the underdog story, always being the underdog and end up coming out on top. What would be your words of wisdom if somebody was watching this interview today? Words of wisdom? Uh, have faith in God. Keep him number one in your life. Because without him, there's, there's nothing you can do. You got to have God in your life to push you on forward in life. 